Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how you can clone any voice using Eleven Labs. This can be useful for adding a unique AI generated voice to your videos, games and applications. The first thing we need to do is to create an account on the Eleven Labs website. So head over to elevenlabs.io and you should see a page like this. Creating an account with Eleven Labs is free, but in order to use voice cloning, we need a paid account. And more specifically, if we have a look at the packages that are available, we can see that access to instant voice cloning is available on the starter package. And at the time of recording, you get 80% off your first month with the 11 labs, which only equates to $1. Right, so after logging in, you should see a screen like this. And this is where you can test out the different voices offered by 11 labs. And what we want to do here is click on voice lab, and then we can click on add generative or cloned voice. And we can then click on instant voice cloning to create a clone of a voice. If you are on the free plan, only voice design will be available and instant cloning will not be available. So in order to clone the voice, we can just click on instant voice cloning and we can then give our voice a name. I will call my voice Leon as I will be cloning my own voice in this demo. You could also create clones of celebrity voices in the same way. What we need to do then is upload up to 25 samples of our voice. And these audio files should not exceed the 10 megabyte limit per file. So how do we record our voice? You can honestly use any recording software of your choice, but a very popular free option is Audacity. And Audacity is an open source program that runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. So you can go ahead and download Audacity and you can then follow the setup instructions to set up Audacity on your machine. Once Audacity is open, we can go ahead and record our voice by clicking on the record button. It is important to create high quality recordings of your voice, which does not have any background noise. So in order to get the best possible quality, I recommend using a condenser microphone. And you should be able to find a USB condenser microphone within your budget. So once you have your microphone set up, you can ensure that your microphone is being used by clicking on the audio setup button. Then we can go to the recording device and ensure that your microphone is selected. So in order to get the best possible result for the clone, we need about one minute worth of audio. So to assist us with this, we can ask ChatGPT to generate a story for us. The content of the story is not important, but we just need something that we can read out while we record our voices. We can then go back to Audacity and then click on record and simply read out the story that was generated by ChatGPT. Once upon a time in a small village nestled deep within a lush forest lived a young girl named Lila. Lila had a unique ability. She could communicate with animals. From the tiniest ladybug to the mightiest bear, all creatures could understand her and she could understand them. And after recording about one minute's worth of audio, we can go to file and then click on export and we can export this as either mp3 or a WAV file. And we can then go ahead and save that file on our machines. And you can go ahead and repeat this process several times in order to upload as many samples as possible. We can now upload these files. So I will upload about 25 samples from my machine, like so. We can then go ahead and add a description to our voice. And this description will help Eleven Labs to add finer details to your voice. So I'll just keep mine simple and say a male with an Afrikaans accent. After adding the description, we can now simply click on this confirm button and we can then click on add voice. And after a few seconds, we will see our new voice showing up on this page. If you want to, you can edit the details of this voice. For example, we can remove some of these samples that might be problematic and upload new samples to improve the quality of the voice. We can also click on use and we can now see our cloned voice showing up on this page under the available voices. We can also click on voice settings to tweak some of the finer details of the voice. And I'm actually going to copy a section from the story that was generated by ChatGPT 
and I'll paste it into this page. And we can now go ahead and click on generate to hear the result. Once upon a time in a small village nestled deep within a lush forest lived a young girl named Lila. Lila had a unique ability. She could communicate with animals. That is really interesting. We can now change some of these settings to try and get a more accurate result. And this really does involve a bit of tweaking. Let's try this. Once upon a time in a small village nestled deep within a lush forest lived a young girl named Lila. Lila had a unique ability. She could communicate with animals. Let's also change the setting on the stability to hear how that sounds. Once upon a time in a small village nestled deep within a lush forest lived a young girl named Lila. Lila had a unique ability. She could communicate with animals. The accent is quite interesting, but we can definitely get closer to the final result by either uploading more samples or changing some of these settings. Now that we have our voice cloned, we can generate all sorts of audio using that cloned voice and we can download the audio file by clicking on this download button and then use this audio in our videos or any other media. In the next video though, I'm going to show you how you can use your cloned voice within a custom web application. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this type of content, my channel is full of content related to artificial intelligence and tutorials on how to build applications that use AI. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.